So in this question, we're asked to use the substitution u is equal to 4 minus the square root of h to show that the integral of 1 over 4 minus root h, integrating with respect to h, is going to be equal to negative 8 lin, uh, 4 minus the square root of h, take away 2 root h plus a constant k. So to begin with, we're going to write down our substitution. So we'll have that u is going to be equal to 4 minus the square root of h. And what we're first going to do is we want to get this into a form where we have a du and a dh, which then means we can rearrange for dh and then substitute this in as such. So we differentiate and we will have that du is going to be equal to 4 differentiates to nothing and we have that negative root h differentiating with respect to h is going to be negative 1 over 2 root h and that is going to be dh and therefore we can also rearrange this first line here and we can write that the square root of h is going to be equal to 4 minus u so now we want to rearrange this for dh so we can therefore say that dh is going to be equal to negative 2 root h du and we now what we notice is we have an expression for dh which can be substituted into our equation here but then we also know what root h is in terms of u so then we can rewrite our term for dh in terms of u so we can therefore say that dh is going to be equal to negative 2 lots of root h and we know that is 4 minus u and that is going to be du and then expanding those brackets we have that dh is going to be equal to negative 8 plus 2u du. So we'll now take this expression here and substitute it in to our integral here and we shall also take in this expression for h and substitute it in here. So we can therefore say that the integral of 1 over 4 minus square root of h with respect to h is going to be equal to 1 over 4 take away 4 minus u and then we sub in our expression for dh which is going to be equal to negative 8 plus 2u and that's now our integral is with respect to u. So therefore we can tidy this up and we see that we have 4 take away 4 plus u so that is going to be u so we're then going to have our numerator is going to be 2u minus 8 and we divide all that by u and that's still with respect to u and then we can simplify this by doing 2u divided by u and then we have take away 8 over u and it's still with respect to u so now all that's left to do is to integrate so we have that these u's cancel out here so therefore we will have the integral of 2 and then we take away 8 over u and what we can now do is integrate so we know that 2 is going to integrate to 2u and we have then 8 lots of the integral of 1 over u and we know that that is going to be lin u and then we add c as well. So now all that's left for us to do now is to then re-substitute in u in terms of h because we know that the answer that we're required to show is in terms of h's and not u's. But that's not a problem because we have u's in our equation but then we also have an expression of u in terms of h so therefore substituting this back in we'll have two lots of 4 minus the square root of h and we'll take away 8 lin of the absolute value of 4 minus the square root of h and then we still have our constant c on the end. So then the next thing we can do is expand these brackets. So we'll have 8 minus 
two root h, take away eight lin four minus the square root of h, and then we add our constant c as well. So then now we can say that we have c plus eight and let it be equal to a constant k. So then finally, we can say, just going back to the question, we have that the integral of one over four minus the square root of h integrating with respect to h is going to be equal to negative eight lin, and the absolute value of four minus square root of h. And then we subtract two root h and we add our new constant k. And that is the required answer which the question asked us for. So therefore we've completed this question. So this question was worth six marks and we achieved our first mark at this stage here when we knew to differentiate and then rearrange for dh. We then receive our second mark for getting our integral into the form where we had 2u minus 8 over u. So essentially substituting in and tidying up a little bit. And we then receive our third mark for getting it into this form where we were ready to integrate. So when we had 2 minus 8 over u, we then receive our fourth and fifth mark for 1, knowing how to integrate, and then secondly, for integrating correctly. So that's at this stage here where we receive 2 marks, and then we receive our final 6 mark for coming to the correct conclusion which the question wanted. So in this part of the question, we're told that a team of scientists is studying a species of slow growing trees. We're told that the rate of change in height of a tree in this particular species is modeled by the following differential equation. So we have that dh by dt is equal to t to the power of 0 0.25 multiplied by four minus the square root of h over 20. So we're told that h is the height in meters and t is the time which is measured in years and that is measured from the point of which the tree is planted. And what we're asked to do, we're asked to find, according to this model, the range in height of trees in this species. So firstly, so we know that when the trees stop growing, the rate of change of their height, so we know that is dh by dt, and in brackets, rate of change of height is going to be equal to zero. So if we think about this, when the trees stop growing, it will no longer be changing. And then this means that this will be the point at which the trees are as tall as possible. So we know to do this, we can set our equation dh by dt equal to zero. So we have that dh by dt, which is equal to t to the power of 0 0.25 multiplied by 4 minus the square root of h, all divided by 20, is going to be equal to 0. So then rearranging this, we have, we multiply both sides by 20, so we'll have t to the power of 0 0.25 multiplied by 4 minus the square root of h, and that's equal to 0. And then bear in mind we are solving for h here, so we can divide both sides by t to the power of 0 0.25, which leaves us with 4 minus the square root of h is equal to 0. So therefore we have worked out that the square root of h is going to be equal to 4. And then we can square both sides, so we'll have that h is going to be equal to 16. So then we're asked in the question the range of heights of trees in this species. So we've shown here that when the trees stop growing, they will be 16 meters. But then we know that some trees will be just planted, some trees will be new, and they will start at a height of zero meters. So therefore, the range of heights of trees will be anything between zero meters and 16 meters. So therefore we found the range of heights of the trees in this species according to the model. 
So in this question, there was two marks available. We receive our first mark for getting to the stage where four minus the square root of h is equal to zero. So that's effectively for knowing to set our rate of change equation equal to zero and doing the first stage of rearranging. And then we achieve our second mark for getting to the correct answer of a range of heights of trees. And in this case, it's when the height is between zero and 16 meters. So in this question, we're told that one of the trees is one meter high when it's first planted. And we're asked, according to the model, to calculate the time this tree would take to reach a height of 12 meters. And we're to give our answer to three significant figures. So the first step in this question is to separate the variables. So we have our equation dh by dt, and then we have on the right hand side a t variable and a h variable. So what we're going to do is we're going to get all of the h's on one side and all of the t's on the other side and then that means we can integrate. So to get our h's on one side we will divide both sides by 4 minus root h. So this leaves us with, and then we're going to integrate just after, so I'll put the integral symbol in. So this leaves us with 1 over 4 minus the square root of h then our dh remains there. And then on the other side, we're going to have t to the power of 0 0.25 divided by 20. And we're multiplying both sides by dt. So we got our dt here. And then we'll put in our integral symbol here too. So the first thing we notice, the integral 1 over 4 minus root h, we know this from part a of the question. And then we're left to work out this here. So we know from part A of the question that 1 over 4 minus root h is going to be equal to negative 8 lin of 4 minus the square root of h. And then we have absolute value signs around that because it's a logarithmic term. And then we subtract negative 2 root h. And then in this case, we don't really need to add the constant because we'll do that on the other side because we only need to add one constant for our integration of both sides. And then we know that this is going to be equal to the integral here. So writing this at the side, we have that t to the power of 0.25 over 20. And we integrate that with respect to t. That is going to be equal to, so we add 1 to the power. So we'll have t to the power of 1.25 and then we divide by 1.25 so we'll have 1.25 multiplied by 20 and that is going to be equal to t 1.25 over 1.25 multiplied by 20 putting that into our calculator that comes out as 25 and then we'll add c so therefore writing this in back to our equation we'll have t to the power of 1.25 all divided by 25 and then here is where we add c and I'll put it in brackets for just now. So then we're told some information in the question. We're told that t is equal to 0 and the height is then going to be 1 meter. So we can use these two values to work out what c is. So therefore with t equals 0 and h equal 1 we're going to have negative 8 lin of 4 minus the square root of 1 and then we take away 2 lots of root h so 2 lots of the square root of 1 and that is going to be equal to 0 to the power of 1.25 we know that's going to be the 0 so that remains as c and then simplifying this ever so slightly we'll have negative 8 lin then we have 4 minus the square root of 1, which is 3, and we know 3 is positive and nothing can change, so we can omit the absolute value signs, and then we have 2 multiplied by the square root of 1, which is 2 multiplied by 1, which is 2, and we have that that is going to be equal to c. So what we can do is we can now take this and substitute it back into this equation here. So just writing that down, substitute back in. So we're going to have negative 8 lin of 4 minus the square root of h and we take away 2 root h and this is going to be equal to t to the power of 1.25 divided by 25 
and then we add C. We've just worked out what C is, so we substitute that in. So we have negative 8 lin 3 minus 2. We need to think back to the question, what are we trying to achieve? So we're asked to calculate the time this tree would take to reach a height of 12 metres. So we know that when h is equal to 12 metres, what is the time? So what we can do is we can take our new expression and substitute in h equals 12 and then solve for t. So we're going to have negative 8 lin of 4 minus the square root of 12 and we have our absolute value signs again and then we take away 2 multiplied by the square root of 12 and then that is going to be equal to t to the power of 1.25 divided by 25 and then we take away 8 lin 3 and 2. So the next stage is for us to rearrange and to solve for t. So what we can do is we can take this term and add them onto the other side. So we're going to have negative 8 lin of 4 minus the square root of 12. Then we take away 2 root 12 also. 8 lin 3 plus 2. Now we're going to put these in brackets because what we can do now is multiply both sides by 25. And that's going to leave us with t to the power of 1.25. So then what we can do to get rid of the 1.25 is to take the root to 1.25. So we'll write this in here in green. So we're going to have the 1.25th root. And then putting this all into our calculator, we therefore have that t is going to be equal to 75. And then we round to one decimal place because we're asked for three significant figures. So t is going to be equal to 75.2 years when h equals 12 meters. And therefore, we've finished the question. So in this question, there was seven marks on offer, and we achieve our first mark for knowing to set up our integrals and try to separate our variables. We then receive our second mark for attempting to integrate and we receive a third mark for integrating correctly. So that's at this stage in the question here, where we receive two marks. So we then receive our fourth mark for getting an expression in terms of c, and that's at this stage here, after we have substituted in t equal to zero and h equal to one. We then receive our fifth mark for getting to the stage where we substitute back in our value for c and get to this stage here. So that's when we took our newfound value of c and understood that that was to be substituted back in to our original expression. And then we receive our sixth mark for getting to this stage here, where we had an expression in terms of t. So this is when we had t to the power of 1.25, and we then went and solved that by taking the 1.25th root of it. And then we receive our seventh and final mark for concluding with the correct answer, which was 75.2 years.